Neurocognitive assessment has become widely used in the evaluation of concussion. It provides a critical piece of information in the uh, management and return to play decision making. Simply put, uh, neurocognitive assessment refers to uh, looking at different elements of cognitive functioning through uh, tasks that we have developed to measure memory, processing speed, reaction time. Um, and uh, by looking at those things, we can determine if an athlete is, has sustained a concussion and what, when they're able to go back to play. Um, with its uh, popularity and use, um, many high schools and sports organizations have uh, started to administer baseline testing, and that's, that's become a common practice. And that means we obtain a, a, a measure of, of an individual's cognitive functioning before a season or before an injury takes place. And by doing that, we can make an accurate comparison uh, post-injury. Um, and this uh, uh, type of testing with its popularity has also uh, been well researched and there's a, a pretty good volume of research that shows that neurocognitive testing provides uh, an added element to an evaluation uh, and that's uh, and it provides important information that we use uh, to managing uh, athletes. All that being said, it's one element of an evaluation and it shouldn't be used as a standalone tool. It provides a critical piece of information that should be combined with uh, clinical interview and uh, vestibular screening to accurately evaluate the athlete and determine when they're able to go back to play.